Oh, I wish I was In a land of cotton Old times there are not forgotten Look away, look away Look away, Dixie land Sing it, fellas Jarrow Elvis is a flamboyant figure on the streets of his hometown. He used to be just one among thousands of unemployed shipyard workers until 10 years ago he stood up in a pub and sang along to Elvis playing on the jukebox. Early Lord, one frosty morn, look away. Today Jarrow Elvis is a local celebrity and every Sunday and Wednesday night large audiences come to the Victoria Park to see him and the Jarrow Elvis Roadshow. Yeah. A big warm welcome to the King of Rock, Jarrow yeah. yeah. I must admit, I've got the gift, the voice, from God. God give me a voice. That's where I love it. That's the joke. Week in, week out, they come to laugh at just how bad the roadshow actually are. Knackers, mate, they call it. <laughs> They're just knackers, aren't they? It's a night full of knackers. Well, they're a, a sandwich short of a picnic, really, aren't they? <laughs> well, not quite all there, are they? There's something missing. There you go, the boy. The sandwich is missing from the picnic. <laughs> very much so. And it's my favourite sandwich. <laughs> okay, let's go. Nothing. But short of lamb oil. A brick short of a full load. Not all there. We've got to go first. Like me first. Okay, boys, roll it. Although most of the performers are mentally or physically disadvantaged, the show has attracted little criticism locally. After all, it's their choice. It's what they want to do. They enjoy it, and so do the audience. The audience are laughing, but they're enjoying themselves. They're not laughing at them personally. But should such vulnerable people as the Roadshow be left exposed to this kind of exploitation and mockery? Sunday night is the busiest night I've ever seen in a pub. I'm used to seeing bands, uh, comedians, this, that, and the other, but as soon as I seen the show as a manager of the Victoria Park, my job was made. Put your hands together for the sex card they call Julia Elvis! They are not freaks, they're not delinquents, spastics, whatever. In my eyes, they are professional entertainers. It's only an extension of karaoke, let's, let's be honest. I mean, the, the, the old style of pub entertainment was very much the piano in the corner and old Fred would get up and play a tune. And then, come on, Lil, it's your turn. You come and give us a song. And it's only an extension of that.
just getting someone on a stage who is not in touch with reality. And people are just going there ridiculing them. I think it is a freak show. The pub are coming in the money hand with this. Um, the people are flocking to see these poor unfortunates um, who are performing to the best of their ability. They think they've got talent. Um, but they should not be in the public view like that. Most of them haven't got their full faculties and some of them should be in care. So many people turn up to see them is because they find their disability funny. You come away feeling disgusted. I mean, you either say that this is very funny and there's nothing wrong with it, or you say it's appalling. And what I'm saying is that if you know the background, if you know the exploitation, then it's appalling. <laughs> The roadshow aren't put off by the suggestion that they're being exploited. They just enjoy performing. Despite learning and hearing difficulties, Gino worked as a labourer in a local factory for 25 years until it closed. Now, since the death of his grandmother three years ago, he lives alone and rejects suggestions that he should be in care. People say I should be in a home. Fair up. Some people have their own opinion. I take care of myself and I'm big enough now, I'm 49. Gino has recently started looking after Clive, another member of the roadshow. Clive's been in and out of residential care, but now lives on his own, relying on Gino's help. Very dirty washing. Washing. They washed me underwear out and they washed my shirts, 